What is going on everyone? Mills here bringing you some fire content on the Fire Day 18 channel. And in today's vid, we're going to be recapping the SDS stream that they have announced, obviously. And not only announced, they have actually did. So, we learned a lot of new things in this SDS stream. We learned a lot about the new pitching mechanics, the new batting mechanics, check swing, and a legend reveal, which we'll get to right in the end of this video. So, we learned a lot about a lot of the fundamentals about it will be the show. And so, I'm going to break it down for the Xbox players and obviously for returning members too and veterans and OGs alike. So, starting off with the first, this will be the first of six feature presentations slash premieres for the SDS streams. And they will be doing these every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern, 4 Mountain, 5 Central for the rest of the time zones because they always forget those. And so that's when they're going to be going live every Thursday. So make sure to go check in when you can. And that is very important. So the first thing they really talked about a lot was mostly the modes. The modes in which you can play on for your MLB The Show experience. The first one was casual. This is really the easy experience. This is for people who are really, really new and just trying to get into the casual mode, of course. Then you got simulation. This is a little bit more authentic. It's a little bit harder. It's more plays true to player ratings and team ratings as well. And, you know, it's kind of a slighter upgrade for the CPU. And then the final, I guess, mode is competitive. That's the one I'm probably going to be using where you play at probably a very higher level where the CPU are gonna react faster. Uh, and I'm not even talking about, I'm just talking about offline CPU where they're gonna react a little bit more quickly to certain things, whether that be stealing, all that sort of stuff. And it also does apply to online as well, where it's gonna play true to like the actual player's stats to a really hard degree. Yeah, I'm talking like an essay guy, I know. Anyways, going on to the next big thing, uh, hit, oh yeah, sorry, let me look this, oh yeah, better input for competitive. So, this is a really huge one that they mentioned for the third mode, because competitive in past years has not been too hot. We have been getting, you know, moments where pitching has been very off, feeling errors have been happening. So, the better input from competitive is going to be nice, because not only that, it's going to limit the fielding errors, and you're going to actually be punished for bringing in low energy pitchers. So, say you're in Balreal, and you've already used a pitcher from the last game, but now you're lowering your options of relievers that you have, and you pick a guy with low energy. You're going to get punished a little bit more for that. You might give up a little bit more home runs because energy matters this year. Energy is important. Same with pitcher confidence. That was a thing of last year, but it's going to become even more of a thing this year. So that's very, very important to note. So another thing here, this is basically a recap. This is not even really new stuff. It's choosing that dynamic difficulty. Stuff's been done before. Still good to note that when you're choosing your obviously hitting difficulty, you want dynamic difficulty to be on or off. Just to, you know, say you want to start off a veteran and you want dynamic difficulty on. That will increase your level the more you get better. So discipline increases are also happening. Check is gone. That's, I mean, not gone, but you know what I mean. Discipline increases is no longer really important. Discipline isn't really as much of an important to the player as much as the user. So the user is going to be 100% responsible for check swings. Discipline ratings basically have become obsolete. To a certain extent, they have. It more or less depends on the player themselves and whether the check swing is warranted enough for a strike or a ball. They even give you a camera from uh, above, kind of like bird's eye view, to see, well, is it valid? Is it a strike? Is it a ball? And we're going to probably get some better input there, but we'll see, honestly. We'll see. So the next, I think, big thing they really brought up that I actually really genuinely liked was... Uh, perfect perfect has 99% chance of being fair so last year was definitely not the best year for that because perfect perfect a lot of people got in and they went off foul balls so that was something that was happening a lot and now they've made it so that's a 99% chance which is fine I'm not mad that it's off. I'm a little a little on the edge it's not 100 but you know 99 I'll take it I'm not mad like caring about it but I think a lot of when they saw when they showed us the batting average stats in SDS stream, it wasn't cap, honestly. I mean, don't get me wrong, perfect perfects are the best contact you can get, and you do want to get a hit most of the time. 
but if you made perfect perfect be a hit or a home run every time, the game's not going to be fun. Not only that, baseball's been known to have line outs all the time in real life, so you can't have a perfect perfect every single time. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a realistic game like MLB The Show tries to promote itself as. So, there has to be some limit there in the perfect perfect. Anyways, one of the biggest, most anticipated modes, other than the stadium, create stadium mode, is perfect accuracy region. They introduced it as a golf term in the term of par, which are the initials, but perfect accuracy region. What this is, is basically the amount of space there's going to be for certain pitches. So, in summary and simplicity, different pitches have different regions and space for perfect perfect. So, they also introduced which certain pitching modes are going to have the most accuracy, the least accuracy, with pinpoint being the most accurate and pure analog being the least accurate, with meter being in the middle. So, yeah, apparently pure analog users are probably going to be less this year as pinpoint is going to probably become the new default for pitching. So, if you tried that out in the tech test, you know it's probably a little bit hard, which is very, very important. So, yeah, that was one of the biggest, biggest introductions in this SDS stream. And that is probably going to be a mode that's going to polarize people as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have my expectations high, but something like, like par or this pinpoint pitching mode is going to be kind of interesting because it is the most accurate, but it's also the most challenging. And the least challenging would probably be pure analog with the least accuracy. So there's more of a skill gap there than there was in past years, which is definitely going to be very nice for all those competitive players looking to get a good edge, whether that be in top 50, World Series, VR, tournaments, all that good stuff. Uh, so the next, I think, important thing I'd like to mention, I think, is accuracy box. So that, that kind of does tie a little bit into the pitches as well. Well, basically how it works is every single pitch is going to have a different like way you, um, you know, throw the ball. So let me get a PS4 controller for demonstration for people. So you know you pitch with uh, the right stick here, right? This stick, right? So when you're pitching, say you want to pitch a fastball, you're going to have to do something where you draw. You basically go down, up or something else like that. Even It might even go around if it wants to. I'll, I'll probably just put a picture up for show, but basically what's gonna happen there is like, there's gonna be a little bit more of a demand for that. There's gonna be more demand to pitch like that if you're gonna use pinpoint accuracy, which is very, very crucial. And yeah, basically that was all of the big, I guess, mechanical stuff all the technical stuff they want to show us for MLB's show. And now, without further ado, let me tell you guys about the new Legend Reveal. So this guy was an infielder for the New York Yankees. He was an amazing hitter, a pretty solid fielder, but an amazing base runner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is too much for Derek Jeter. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. It's not Derek Jeter. It's Alfonso Soriano. So, Alfonso Soriano... If you guys do not know who that is, he is cracked. Basically, he was the second baseman for the New York Yankees. He had a season where he hit 40 home runs and stole 40 bases. He is going to be a pretty good card. We don't know what his rating is, but he's going to have pretty good stats, safe to say, with a lot of power and probably some speed and stolen bases to go along with that. He's going to be a pretty solid player, I think, for the start of the year. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this SDS stream recap vid. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't yet, go leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to go follow my Twitch and Twitter in the link in the description below. Tell me what you guys saw this podcast, and I'll see y'all in the next video stream. Take care, everyone. Peace.